One of the things I look forward to the most when entertaining is that I have a reason to recreate some of my favorite party foods, especially dips. When done properly, dips can really bring a diverse array of tasty options that all have distinct personalities. Today, we're gonna to make my personal favorite, roasted artichoke dip. For the topping, I'll start with two slices of high quality white sandwich bread. Tear them each into four pieces. Pulse the bread in a food processor for six pulses. It should be coarse and crumbly. In a separate bowl, toss the breadcrumbs with two tablespoons of grated Parmesan and one tablespoon melted unsalted butter. Set this aside. Next, adjust an oven rack to the middle position and heat the oven to 450 degrees. Line a baking sheet with foil. We're going to start with three cups of artichoke hearts. You can use jarred or frozen artichokes. If you're using jarred artichokes, drain and rinse them. If you're using frozen artichokes, do not thaw them first. Don't use canned artichokes. We found that they can give the dip a tanny flavor. Put the artichokes in a bowl, add one tablespoon of olive oil, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Toss the artichokes until they're coated and then spread them evenly onto the prepared baking sheet. Roast the artichokes, stirring them occasionally for 25 minutes. You want the artichokes to be browned around the edges. While the artichokes cool, prepare the rest of the ingredients by mincing one medium onion. Mince two garlic cloves, you should have two teaspoons of garlic. Juice two tablespoons from one lemon using a citrus press. Remove the leaves from a few sprigs of thyme. Chop one tablespoon of leaves. We need smaller scoopable pieces of artichoke here, so I'm gonna coarsely chop the cooled artichokes. The pieces shouldn't be too small. In a 10 inch skillet, heat the remaining one tablespoon of olive oil over medium high heat until it's just shimmering. Add the onion. Cook for five to seven minutes until the onion has softened. Stir in the garlic and cook for 30 seconds until it's fragrant. Transfer the onion mixture to a large bowl. Now for the creamy part of the dip. Add one cup of mayonnaise to the onion mixture. To that, add four ounces of cream cheese into the mix. Make sure the cream cheese is at room temperature. It won't mix well otherwise. Add one ounce grated Parmesan, the lemon juice, chopped thyme, and a pinch of cayenne into the onion mixture. Keep mixing until the mixture looks uniform. To break up clumps of cream cheese, smear them against the side of the bowl with a rubber spatula. Cream cheese is essential because it makes the dip rich and creamy. Now that everything is combined, gently fold in the chopped artichokes. Season the mixture with salt and pepper to taste. Transfer the mixture to an ungreased 8 inch square baking dish and smooth the top with a spatula. Now we can bring back those breadcrumbs we prepared earlier and spread them evenly over the top. If this is a make ahead moment for you, at this stage you can tightly cover the dip with plastic wrap and refrigerate it for up to three days. To prepare it immediately, cook it uncovered in a 400 degree oven on the middle rack for 20 to 25 minutes. Let it cool for five minutes before serving. This dip is best served hot, so if you're having a party, you should time the dip coming out of the oven with your guest's arrival. Be sure to serve this dip with crackers, thinly sliced baguettes, or crudités. This will be the best warm welcome any party has ever had.